Flat Earth Clues Part 1 The Empty Theater This is part of a series of clues that can help you get your head around both the design of the flat earth system we live in and who has been involved in the deception to hide it from you. Huh, that sure is a mystery. Yeah, it sounds super hard.
How do we explain the movement of the sun across the sky and the equinox, solis, solstice, solstices, seasons, and tides? Got it, got it, got it. I'll lump it all up in one thing. Okay. Uh, stars, planets, sun, moon. Okay, we'll, we'll break it in two sections real quick. Stars and the planets, they are projected. They are not there they are a beautiful beautiful image you can look at them i encourage people to go out and stare at the stars they're great the moon is being projected on i do not know what the moon is and a lot of people don't either the sun appears to be a projection system of its own my clue's pointing over there now <laughs> oh let's follow that clue how far away it could be as far as i know a light bulb in a cage i hate to say <laughs> it if the earth is flat then where does the heat come from ah, the sun even hot Good one. Uh, you mean the heat from, oh, most of the temperature is underneath. You know, you can control it. You know, it's all, all the temperature mechanisms are going to be below us. Yeah, the sun's going to give off some, seat, some heat, obviously, but no more than, you know, uh, you know a big light bulb in a, uh, I know it sounds cheesy, but a big light bulb in a big area like a terrarium. Uh, you can do so much more below than you can above. Uh, so the short answer to that, as far as where does the heat come from, uh, I think mostly below with the system. That's how I would do it. Oh, oh that's giving me a clue. Yeah, 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 I've got a raging clue right now.